it's one of the greatest game crazes of all time. It's the Magic Card. Last summer, Wizards of the Coast released the innovative trading card game called Magic the Gathering. In the game, each player starts off with their own deck of collectible trading cards and competes with other players to win new cards and to get better decks. Sort of like poker. The starter decks come with 60 cards and each player needs at least 40 cards to compete. When the cards became available, Wizards of the Coast could not have expected the demand and had to go back to press. Their first series of cards have black borders and reprints have white borders, thereby satisfying the insatiable demand of collectors and fans alike. Some of the auctions and things have card prices going anywhere from about six to eight dollars. Of course, initially with the black border cards, prices were really getting out of hand for a while, going up to a twelve to twenty dollars card. Actually, I've heard of one person who quit his college job because he found that brokering magic cards was more profitable. The cards depict lands, artifacts, creatures, and spells. Many characters' names were made up for the game. The original gathering list, the gathering, uh, was mostly made up names. They came from, uh, they came from uh, an imaginary world which we call uh, Dominia. And uh, uh, so we're trying to develop each, as we explore new parts of Dominia, we'll come out with a new set of cards for that area. New card ideas are forthcoming from both Richard and the staff. Well, Richard designed the initial game and other, others of us would uh, propose new card ideas. And so right now, uh, mainly everything, everything that's, that's done now is, is uh, what Richard did. And hopefully, uh, well actually right now in the stores there's a, a new release coming out, which is uh, extra cards that Dave and I designed. Uh, a release called Antiquities, and they're just new card ideas. Uh, booster packs are car uh, 16 cards in a pack or 8 for smaller releases, and it gives you a chance to improve your deck without having to go out and buy a whole new one.